Okay, I'm going to go over uh, today's lesson, which is parallel and perpendicular lines. So I'm going to skip the review and go here. Let's open this up and away we go. So let's look at, fill in the chart below, so the slope for each of these lines, A, B, C, D, and E, F. So one key thing to do here is make sure you know that each of these squares is worth half, although if you do it without each square is worth half, it would be the same thing. So if I take a look here, I'll do this one in black. We're going to draw our little triangle here. Up and over. So it's going to be up one, two, three, four up. And it will be one, two across. So slope is going to be four over two, which equals two. And it asked me for my equation of this line, so I'm going to write my down my b here. And my b here is at 3. So my equation of this line is going to be y equals 2x plus 3. Now let's do the next one. cd is in blue. Up and over. So I'm going to go up 2 and over 1 over 1, which is 2, and my b is going to be 1. So my equation of a line here is going to be y equals 2x plus 1. And lastly, let's go to the red, up and over, and I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4 again and over 2. So once again we're 4 over 2. So and my b value in this one is going to be, what is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5. So my equation is going to be y equals 2x minus 5. Right, because this is going to simplify 2 over 1. So what did I notice about the slopes? If I look at the slopes here, they're all the same. So the slopes are all the same. And what do you notice about the lines? And this is one of the words I can never spell. They, they are... Parallel. Pair. They go right. And one here. They are parallel. All right. So it looks like if the slopes are equal, the lines are parallel. So on the axis, given axis here, graph the lines through this and this and this and this and determine the slopes of them. All right. So let's do this, these two in red. So we're going to go negative 3 comma 0. So 1, 2, 3 negative and 0 are going to be right here. Let's be a nice and wide one. Give me the marker. I'm going to put a dot right there. Then 3, 3. That's my second one. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. All right. So let's insert a line there between these two. Make that line nice and small. I extend it out here between these guys. So I also asked me to figure out the slope. So let's go back to my drawing. I have my pen, which I'll hopefully use back to small. And I go up and over. I'm go up and over. 
So we're going to go up three. And I'm going to go over six. So M equals three over six, which equals a half. Now let's do this color in blue. So I'm going to do this in blue. Negative four, negative three. So those negative, negative four is going to be here. One, two, three, and four, one. So four across and one up. Let's insert my line. Let's make it nice and small. Then let's get my pen out and figure it out what my rise of run is. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm not going to take that big one. I'm just going to go up this far because it nicely touches that spot right there. I'm going up one over two. So my slope for this one is one over two. And what do we notice here again? These two are equal. Therefore, you can say they're equal, so they are pair LOL. And I totally misspelled that again. I'm going to keep this on control. Boom. So those are parallel lines. <clears throat> so if we're looking at parallel lines, we can make a note that parallel lines have equal slopes. Now let's look at these two. We'll do this one in blue, A, B. So we're going to go over and then down. So we're one, two, three. Oh, rise of run. I should be going the other way. So let's take that away. Oops. So rise of a run. We're going to go down and then over. We're going to go down two. That's going to be negative 2, and we're going over 3. So the slope is negative 2 over 3. And now, let's do this one in red. Go up and over. Up and over. This is 1, 2, 3. 3 over 2. If we write the equation of these, this is the b value here is negative 2. And the b value here equals 4. Now my equation of a line is going to be y equals negative 2 over 3 x plus 4, and this is going to be y equals 3 over 2, x minus 2. So, what do we notice about these guys here? Well, their slopes are not equal. We know that. But look at They are inverse. Not inverse. The negative reciprocal of it. So we flip them. 2 over 3, negative, get switched to 3 over 2 and be positive. If you look here closely, right here is a right angle, which makes these two perpendicular to each other. So let's do the same thing here. <clears throat> so let's do this one. I have a green pen out, so let's do this one green. We're going down and over. Down 2 over 1. So that's negative 2 over 1. My y intercept here is going to be 1, 2. My y intercept, I'm just going to put it on the side here, is negative 4. Now, this one here, let's do this one in red, is up 1 over 2. So up one over two. 
with my b equal to negative 2. So we take a look and make our equation. We have y equals negative 2 over 1, x minus 4. And this one here is y equals 1 over 2x minus 2. So what do we see again here? If you look here, these here are flipped. So negative reciprocal. So you flip it and change the sign. It's negative 2 over 1. The negative reciprocal of that is going to be you flip it, so 1 over 2, and we change the sign. So it's negative here, so it's going to be positive here. Now, it asks this nice, nice little question here. Consider the pairs of lines for question four. So it'll line up here. Calculate the slope of AB times the slope of CD. So we have negative, we have negative two over three multiplied by three over two. So as we know, I use my calculator there real quick. Tops time top is going to equal negative 6, so negative 2 times 3. Then bottom times bottom is going to be 3 times 2, which is going to be 6, which equals negative 1. Okay, let's take this one. We have negative 2 over 1 times 1 over 2. So what do you think is going to equal? negative 1. So what do we notice? Well, we notice two things. Two things. One, slopes are opposite signs and flipped. And uh, the product of the two slopes equals negative 1. And what angle does it make? It makes a 90 degree. So two conclusions we should know about slopes of parallel lines and slopes of perpendicular lines. So we should know that parallel parallel lines. Why don't I just do this? There we go. Parallel lines, two things. Same slopes for parallel. But we have to make a note that they cannot have the same y-intercept. This is because if they had the same y-intercept, they'd be the same line. But if I go up here, and I take a look at this one here. If I wrote an equation with the same slope and the same line, same slope, same y-intercept, it would create the same line. So they have to have different y-intercepts. So for example, if I wrote the first one here, y equals 2x plus 3, a parallel line would be y equals 2x plus anything you want. You can put zero in there, you can do anything, you just can't put three. Now, for a perpendicular line, the slope is the negative, oh, I can't spell this here, the negative reciprocal. Negative reciprocal. So what does that mean? It means you flip the slope and change the sign. Now for this one, you can have a same y-intercept. You can have, it's not going to be the same line. So let's say I have 3 over 2, x plus 4. A uh, perpendicular line would equal, and you can tell me I'm not a, 
English teacher, a perpendicular line, I'm going to flip the slope. I'm going to change the sign. So it's positive there, so I'm going to make it negative. It's 3 over 2, so I'm going to make it 2 over 3. X, and then I'm going to make it plus or minus any number you want. It can be anything in the world. So this little sign here means parallel. This little sign means perpendicular. So given that, what's a perpendicular line? What's the slope of a perpendicular line? Well, it's going to be the same. And then for a perpendicular line, it's going to flip it and make it negative. So negative 4 over 3. This one here, keep it the same. This one here, flip it, change the sign. So 2 over 1 which equals just plain old 2. And once again, we're going to parallel. It's going to be the same. This one here, we're going to flip, make negative. It's a positive, so we're going to make a negative. So we have 3 over 2. This one here is 1. And the opposite flipped is so just going to be negative 1. So if you think about 1, it's 1 over 1. So it's going to be negative. Change the sign, flip it. And lastly, we have this one, negative 5, let's move this up a little bit, negative 5, so it's going to be negative 5, and to help you, it's going to go negative 5 over 1, so we're going to flip it, we change the sign, it's negative, so it's going to be positive, and it's going to be 1 over 5. So conclusion from the investigation, slope of parallel lines are I'm going to write here, same slope, or equal slope. For example, parallel line is y equals 2x minus or plus any number you want. Not 7, though. Not negative 7. And a perpendicular line for this one would be y equals... We're going to flip it so it's 2 over 1, so it's going to be 1 over 2. And it's positive beginning, so I'm going to make it a negative x, and I can make it anything. So plus or minus any number. So find the equation of a line that's parallel and goes through 2 common negative 7. All right, so we've done uh, questions like this before. So we have a point, and we're given our slope. So we're going to make, I'm going to put my slope over here. That's going to be m equals, and we want parallel, so it's going to be equal. So then let's list what we know. We know that x equals 2, y equals negative 5, m equals 2, and b, we don't know. So... Let's go through. So we're going to go y equals mx plus b. We're going to plug in all our numbers. So negative 5 equals 2 times 2 plus b. Negative 5 equals 4 plus b. Now we have to move that over. So negative 5 is over there. 4 plus comes over, becomes a negative. So equals b. So negative 9 equals b. And we have our slope, we have our y-intercept, so we can write out our equation now, y equals 2x minus 9. Now, it goes through the origin. Okay, so what does go through the origin mean? Well, go through the origin means the y-intercept is going to equal to b. Oops, y equals seven is going to be equal to 0. Then... It tells us it's perpendicular to negative 3 over 2. So we, it's perpendicular, so we know we're going to flip it. So 2 over 3 is going to be 3 over 2. It's a negative before, so it's going to become a positive. So then we can just finish off our equation. y equals 3 over 2 x plus 0. Now adding them plus 0 doesn't really make sense, so I'm just going to leave it as is. Now, 
we found this this one way before. So let's review here. So we have two points. So x1, y1, x2, y2. So let's do our equation. So that's y2 minus, oops, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I'll just do a line with such. Eh, big line doesn't matter. Let's plug in my numbers now. So I have 0 minus 5 over 7 minus 2. They won't be such a big line this time. So that's going to equal. So that's going to equal negative 5 over 5. And that's going to equal negative 1. So that's my m value. So from that point on, now we can go trying to find our other stuff. So I'm going to continue here with x equals y equals and b equals. And b's are unknown. And then I like working with easy numbers, so I'm going to pick the one with the zero. So that is seven here and zero here. So let's plug it everything in. So we have y equals mx plus b, which is going to equal zero equals negative one times seven plus b. So zero equals negative seven plus b, and we're going to move that over. It's going to become a seven equals b. Therefore, we have our two spots now. We have this, we have this, and we can write our equation where y equals negative one x plus seven. And there's everything for today. Um, hopefully if you didn't make class or want to do a review, you can look this over. And right now I'm looking at the screen and the Raptors are winning tonight, so I'm quite happy. Have a great night or day whenever you watch this.